Hey guys, it's John Olympian Exotics here. So we have some fiddler crabs available. Um, these guys are gonna be four dollars a piece. You don't really see these too often anymore. Uh, these are subtropical, so they like temperatures around 70 to 80 degrees. They'll pretty much eat anything that you put in the uh, setup. So um, fish flakes. They'll eat this. They'll eat these plants in here. They'll eat worms. They'll eat frozen food. They don't really care. Uh, crabs are pretty much omnivorous, so they'll pretty much eat anything that is in there. You can even toss like dead fish in here. They'll eat those too, because crabs don't really care at all. So you can see these guys with the big claws are the males, and the little ones with the uh, same size claws are the females. We actually have a gravid female in here, so I wanted to show you guys this, because I've never actually seen this in any of these. So we'll see if I can catch her. So check this out. So, there we go. And they don't really want to pinch you either. So right here, let's see if we can get it to focus. Come on. There we go. So you see in her here, this is her eggs right here underneath those little claws. That like black bumpy stuff. Let's see if we can get it in there. I'll get it further. There we go. Okay. So you see this stuff under here? Right at, those are little eggs right there underneath her claws. So she is actually carrying a bunch of little eggs with her. And she came in this way. So this is an adult. So that's pretty cool. And you can see they don't really freak out too much as long as you're not like poking them in the head or anything. But um, if they do pinch you, it does hurt a little bit. Okay, we'll put it back in. So these guys like really shallow water. I'll get this to focus again. And I just put in some pieces of cork bark for them to climb out on because they do kind of like to hang out on land for a little bit. Um, you got to put a decent amount of cork bark in there because the uh, males will definitely fight for territory and they can actually tear each other's uh, claws off and stuff. They do grow back, but it takes quite a while. Um, so like this guy right here, this is a big male. This is why I really like him. Come here, you. Oh, in a way. Okay. Let's see. Let see. Here's another male. So this is a male right here. Come here, you. They used to have these in pet stores a lot more, but I guess they have lost uh, popularity because you can't really keep them with anything else because they will literally eat pretty much anything else that's in the tank. So that's a big male right there. You can see that nice big... Uh, Claw for dispute purposes. But yeah, so these guys are pretty easy to take care of, and they are available. So um, just shoot me a message if you'd like one, or preferably you're local to Brooksville, Florida, or near the Tampa area, because these don't really ship, and they wouldn't really be worth paying the uh, shipping required to get them to you. But um, if you're local, just shoot me a message. Okay, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching.